Salutations, tubers, and welcome to this little mini review of a nifty little gadget I've come across in my travels of the World Wide Web and beyond. This particular little doohickey is a Swan Tease Maid. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar, a Tease Maid is a quintessentially British contraption. Basically combines a tea kettle with an alarm clock. Uh, used to be these things were very, very popular. General idea being you set the alarm, it boils you up hot pot of tea and you don't have to get out of bed which was really a bit of a godsend when homes in britain didn't have central heating and whatnot and since central heating and so on has become a lot more prevalent these things have become more of a niche item uh, been searching for one of these for a long time they're actually very very hard to come by the side of the atlantic uh, i guess i could go to the trouble of importing one but then we've got a little problem as our mains electricity is different they use I believe it, it's 240 thereabouts and this and the frequency of the current is 50 hertz while we use 110 and 60 hertz so even if i could get the voltage converter because the frequency would be off the clock would run fast and it wouldn't the alarm function wouldn't work properly all things considered i could probably get the similar functionality of this particular device with a coffee maker with a little timer on it but where's the fun in that so i guess without further ado i'll do a little demonstration of how this little baby works give you a little tour of it well first things first we got to get the cover off so we'll take off our white star line crockery get at the gubbins take the little tray off and up here we've got all the little adjustments for the alarm the time and our brightness of our little lights you can adjust it to however bright you want it for your bedroom so it's not too bright we've got our water compartment fill this general idea being you fill this up the night before some nice hot water like so good oak cinch this up tight and you got to get it tight because it builds up some steam pressure in there so you don't want it to you know blow literally blow its top get this seated in this little alcove over here one second i have to push that in a little hard to film and do this at the same time so un momento por favor okay we got it seated home put our accoutrement back up on the tea tray and since we're we're not doing this by the alarm we just use the handy dandy tea now function so in a few minutes when the sucker starts boiling and hissing we'll review and then we will wrap up and give some final thoughts Okay, we're starting to get some hissing and boiling activity. It usually doesn't take this thing long to get up to a boil, maybe 5-10 minutes. Uh, the way the alarm function is designed on this, it's designed to actually brew up the tea ahead of time, so when the alarm finally goes off, your tea's ready, which I find very, very handy on these dreary, dreary mornings sometimes. Hear the little hear shushing and going on, and then the alarm goes off, and it's time for a nice hot cup of So, just got to wait for her to boil up and then we'll have some hot water. I'm not actually going to have any tea this time around. I figured I'd get a little water and have some cup noodles. So, same similar principle. You don't have to make tea in this thing. You can make cocoa or even instant coffee, but I'm not really a fan of coffee. And for a while, these were being sold on Amazon, and they were about $100 at the time, and I thought, yeah, it's a little steep. I found this one on eBay, gently used, so I consider myself pretty fortunate to have it. All in all, a, kind of a cracking little contraption. Just, just weird and kitschy, and i just absolutely in love with it. Come on, baby. Come on, old chap, let's get up a hit of steam, shall we?
here she goes. Any second now. There she goes. Brilliant. So, I do believe I'm going to be fixing myself my cup of instant noodles, and that's about it. That's what she does. So, I guess, cheers, and see you next time, tubers. <laughs>